Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine. Happy Tuesday, I hope you guys are doing well. It is still raining, I totally miss the sun. Whatever happened to sunny California, I have no idea. So today's review, as you have read in the title, this is going to be about the Rimmel London Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder. And this is around $6.47. Sorry if I can keep on looking there because the receipt is there. So first of all, before I begin this video, I really do apologize if I feel like I have been offending anybody if I'm reviewing non-cruelty free brands. I do support non-cruelty free products. However, I feel like a total hypocrite whenever I support but I eat meat. Do I make sense? Please do not think of me as a bad person when I'm doing this. But I went to their website and they said there that they are literally working on it. There are countries that it's the law. Like I totally understand their part. I totally understand what we, you know, our community that doesn't like cruelty-free products feel part because they might end up getting sued by wherever if something happens to the skin of people using it and us. We were thinking that there's a lot of alternatives. If other brands can do it, why not you guys can do it? So now going back to this product. I may sound confusing, but again, I am so sorry. This is already here. John Ray paid for this one. Might as well just do this and finish it up after that. No more cruelty. This is $6.47 and you will be getting 10 grams of a product, honestly, in the drugstore compared to the other ones that you will see in the drugstore. This one has less grams and it costs a little bit more. So this bitch better be special, otherwise I'm going to get really upset. <laughs> so I really love the packaging. It is pretty basic and you can see what you are going to get. And at the back it says, they only have one shade which is transparent. I don't know if they're gonna come out with different other colors, but yeah. It says here, lightweight, smooth, and soft face powder matches skin's texture for a flawless and natural looking finish. Wears up to 8 hours, dermatologically tested, and it, this is going to be good for 30 months, which is amazing because we all know that this is going to last to forever if you're not that person who uses makeup all the time. Now let's just open this baby up. And it comes along with this really cute powder puff compared to the other powder puffs that is included in the kit I must say that this is really decent. This is not as shitty as the other powder puffs in the market And of course it also has this sticking um, Like a stopper every time there's like a new product It always has this to protect the product to keep it in it actually doesn't have any seal when you buy this it's just that it doesn't have any plastic sealant or anything which i do not like because when you buy something at walmart people just randomly test them because there are no testers which is so annoying but without further ado let's go ahead and start so i'm just going to do my normal routine when i what i do on my face did you guys did you guys notice that i'm not wearing any lashes today i just want to appreciate my lashes because this is what i have been given though they look like a free they look like a fun size in all seriousness i just don't get it why guys have the best lashes while i'm all here like seriously john ray's lashes is really really beautiful oh my goodness my hair how are you guys mm -hmm. and the foundation that I'm going to use is covergirl which I also found out that it is I'm going to further my research I know as a makeup reviewer I should know better but you know I'm just human I make mistakes so I really do apologize and I really apologize if I offend anybody like last time, I have offended someone because I just used the word re retard. Like I have a special brother, brother myself. We don't call them those stuff because we just call them a special child, if that makes sense. Also, guys, what do you think I should... I'm gonna, since I'm already here, I'm going to do a little bit of chit chat. So, John Ray's. 
Because John Ray, before me, John Ray has a long-term relationship. And they have so many common friends. And that to me, like, I totally understand. And then we went to his hometown. And then we went to church. And the friend of his ex actually went to John Ray and hugged John Ray and, you know, try to catch up a little bit like, hey, how are you? Well, she can totally see, she can totally see that I'm just standing and holding John Ray's hand. Like, she didn't acknowledge my presence. I felt like that was just so disrespectful. We're in church. Like, honestly, you call yourself daughter of God and you'll be like, I think it's really, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that I'm being very just emotional or do I just need to chill? Because I really felt so disrespected and John Ray didn't, I think John Ray wanted to introduce me, but I guess he wasn't able to or just because it was one of the besties of his ex. I don't know. Well, how do I? Please educate me on how should I react on that part because to me that's just, just so disrespectful. Like I'm literally here, John Ray is here, and she only like, hey, how are you? La 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 la, and she didn't even bother to even give me a look. I don't even know. Like, you're in church, you act holy and shit, you give service, but you act like a demon child. I'm sorry. Like I just don't get that. So I really think that girls like the best thing that you can do in that kind of situation is just to fight with class just be kind but don't let anybody step on you because it's just telling you it's just gonna make everything messed up i really respect john ray and everything that he had in the past because that's past hello like we're adults this is not teenage times or something this is real life like i totally respect what you guys have but what i do not like is that some of your friends are like so <laughs> disrespectful like i'm not even kidding john ray was trying to introduce me to one of his like most of their common friends especially the girls they don't really like me even if i try to be nice to them and be friends with them i don't think they're down for that but you know i'm always open in knowing the exes because it's part of John Ray's life. It's not like... It's not like I can do something about it, right? So this is really all about maturity. But sometimes, you know, it's John Ray's job to fix that one because I don't want to be... I really hate it when people act like they're so fucking innocent. They're playing that they're the victim, but they're actually not. Arr. So I'm actually using the powder puff right now. I'm not going to bake anymore. I'm just going to do this like what I usually do. And then use this powder brush just to... I'm doing half of my face first so that we can see the difference. But yeah, that's just... That one really stressed me out in the past. Like, it was crazy. Like, all of a sudden, of course, all of a sudden... I came in the picture and then boom, all their hopes and dreams with their three-year relationship collapsed. But John Ray and I, we've been together since 2015 and now it's 2017. Like, for me, please grow up. Like, John Ray is not the one who left her in the first place. I don't know why these uh, girlfriends are coming after me and looking at me like I'm... A tiger who just snatched the, the meat out of their you know what I mean so it's just really tough times so oh my goodness it's really nice it's really soft super smooth I'm not even kidding I tried to hide my pores are less visible oh my goodness it is so lightweight you know what this powder reminded me of Shuyumura. I'm not even kidding. Like the same exact feeling. Can't believe. Like wow. So I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. So I took a photo with flesh so you guys could see what it looks like and there you have it. 
I just finished the rest of my makeup. I feel so weird not having any lashes. I think the lashes will make everything look perfect, but I just really want to use some of the mascaras that I have because they're not a lot, but you know, instead of letting them just expire, might as well just use them. But yeah, going back to my story, I did not steal John Dre. We don't have any relationship when we met and we're not I really think that we're not vulnerable, that's the reason why we decided to be together because I have been single for like a really long time though I still have... before... I was still talking to someone but you know, it's just really... things did not really work out I think he's super kind because he told me that do you really want to be with me? I'm just like this, I don't have any future, yada 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 there's so much going on. And then John Ray. John Ray is not actually my type. I really think that he's just a skinny, cocky boy who is really a fuckboy. That's what I really thought about him. Because he acts like that way. Maybe because after the breakup, he told me the story and I was like so moved. He was so brokenhearted. Him being in the military, him not being... um comforted when he was so down there and I keep on telling him that like, you know what I wish I met you earlier so that you won't have to feel that pain oh my gosh but you know what in every relationship I think you will get hurt but I got hurt with John Ray probably only on that part like with the beginning of the relationship is really hard especially you know some people couldn't really move on with the life but then again, I really wanted to be friends with those people as well because I don't want to lock John Ray within this circle and not talking to those people anymore because those are his childhood friends. So if they want to be friends with me, that's totally fine. But if they don't, well then. Hi everyone! So it has been four freaking hours. I am not kidding. I have been cooking for four hours now. So now going back to the product, look at my face. Like... I am very impressed. I'm not even kidding. Usually some of the powders that I have tried in the past within three and a half hour time frame They've already given up. This one Still looks pretty damn good though. I don't know Take note that I have been cooking for four hours like I'm just standing on top of whatever and like dicing stuff and all that stuff so there is a smoke going through my face, but I am really surprised that my face still looks mattified and my makeup is still all together. I haven't eaten anything yet today, but I drank water. That's why like my lipstick looks like it's bleeding or something. But I am really happy the way it looks on my face. Oh, why do you guys have to be non-cruelty free? This is amazing. I am very happy so far. So I'm gonna be back after a few more hours and give you guys an update and my final thoughts about this product. Hey everyone, this is going to be my last checkup. So this makeup has been in my face for nine hours and I really do believe that that is a decent time for me to tell you guys what I feel about this product. So today's activities is all about cooking. I just cook a lot of shit. I need to pre-prep meals and it was a lot of standing in, a lot of smoke in my face. So that is pretty much it. And I've also kissed the dogs so many times because they are super cute and I just can't help myself when I kiss them. To tell you guys honestly, I think this is very, very comparable to the Shuyumura. Remember a while ago when I tested it out on my face? I put it on and I exactly felt the same exact feeling that I have felt in my Shuyumura translucent powder. I don't have it here with me anymore because I've already used it up. That actually lasted to me for like two and a half years because it was... The grams are more than this one, obviously. I really do think that this is an exact spot-on dupe for the Shuyumura, <laughs> Shuyumura translucent powder. You guys really have to try this one. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not cruelty-free, so I really do apologize. I do not mean to offend anybody. I respect the rules of their company and all that stuff. Oh, I just can't win in life. Like, there's always something that's gonna... Anyways, going back to this product, I really do love it. Professionally, I think you can use this if you have a gig. This is something that you can use that you won't be embarrassed. My face, if you guys have been in my channel, I've been reviewing a lot of foundation, a lot of foundations, a lot of powders and all that bullshit. You guys can tell that my face is so disgusting. This one, 
I have oiliness here. You guys know my face personally. This one is just a cesspool of just oil. It's like my face is like shit ton of oil. I could not stress that enough. But this one really held it perfectly in my face. It's just, it's just phenomenal. <laughs> like, wow, 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 wow. Maybe this is the Shuyumura powder and then they just placed it in a Shuyumura packaging because that's how I really feel. And I know that product so well because I have used that for years and days straight sometimes. So I really know that powder and I can really feel that in here. It's not heavy. It's like super triple fourplet milled or something. Sorry about my English, but it's very fine. This one is amazing. It's just, oh my goodness, best of the best. But I can't purchase this anymore because I don't want rabbits to be hurt. So I read that they are working on it. I hope so because this is really good. Like, wow, I can't stress that enough. So that's pretty much it, guys. I know I have repeated myself like a shit ton of times. Sorry about that. I'm just so amazed. Like, it could, I could not believe or I would pay $15 for this one. Just wow. <laughs> guys thank you all so much for watching and if you are still not part of the sassy family go ahead and subscribe i upload mondays to fridays usually morning 7 a.m see you guys tomorrow